Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm I'm, I'm very proud of Jesse. Uh, like, yeah, J Jesse reminded me even that when he came in Seattle, he did sit sit next to me in the room, and I kind of do the same thing in terms of getting the older guys sitting next to young guys in the room. No matter like once you're a part of our room, if you buy in to be a part of our room, you're one of my guys, you're one of our guys, you're our people. So I ne I definitely noticed Jesse from from day one. He's coming out of uh, I gotta make sure I say this right. Uh, he he's a va uh, vandal, Idaho. Because yeah, I got a lot of people, I got a lot of vandals who are really, you know, good people. All the ones I've met are great people. But, you know, he came in and just worked hard. From day one, smart guy, just tried to do everything right, working hard. And then we, we, we lost him, you know. Uh, he, he, uh, we cut him. He went to the Jets. And I kind of always followed him. Usually what I say, if you're a part of our room, we, I follow you still. And then uh, when I finally got back into coaching, you know, seeing him make an active roster, when I was with previous employment Raiders, we played Miami down here, the game with X picking off in the end zone. I saw Jesse out there starting, and it's just kind of you know cool how it goes full circle. Now I'm back with Jesse again, but I mean I'm proud of him for all the hard work, being an undrafted guy, former D lineman. I mean being cut, being on a press squad, just working his butt off, and you can see that character of a, of a guy. I think it's very important, and not only in, in, in a team, but it's very important in my room having a guy who, when they go through it, you they, they got like an extra level of respect. You know what I'm saying? And so I mean uh, Jesse's done a great job. He works hard, you know, puts his head down, just comes to work every day, leads through example, and now he, he even talks more, definitely. You know, the only place to miss him to go to run the gamut of the offensive line is center, right? I do know. I keep reminding him. I say, Jesse, I said, one day I might go and get you a starting center just, just so you can say you started all five. And Jesse laughs about it. Like, uh, you know, he's, he's willing and ready to do anything we ask him to do. He's just that type of guy. He cares about just the Dolphins and his teammates that much that he'll do whatever is asked of him. Right. Yes, it does. Um, I, I think, at least from my experience, like I never did the tackle spot, but I did the left guard to right guard. And even I tell guys today, like my left guard stance was slightly different than my right. You know, I'm a, I'm a right hand dominant, but I got used to the left. So eventually, excuse me. I you know, it's got used to playing so much left. People actually thought I was a left left uh, left left handed guy. And so it, it can be more difficult in terms of natural, just going from the left to the right. Because even if, you know, you do any kick, any movement, like a lot of the moves we do at times are actually going backwards, right? Or you're stepping, like you got to keep working on your base, finding your, your center of gravity. And, and also then that's when the techniques really got to kick in and overdrive in terms of really learning a new skill, right? It's like, you know, when you first play, you play basketball, you know, you, you can dribble with your right maybe. Then you go to your left, it's like, you, should, you know how weird that feels at times. You got to develop it. You can shoot with your right, and also you shoot your left. Like, my elbows, I can't, you know, I'm not, if, if you play me in basketball, make me go left. All right, I'm still going to go right. I'm that guy. And same thing with baseball, right? Some guys are good at switching. Some guys can develop that skill. So the same thing in terms of just our movement on the O-line is a skill that needs to be developed, and there's ways to do it. Sometimes guys are more even naturally at doing it. Sometimes you're not. It all depends on the guy. But, you know, in terms of the group I have, just talking about that, like they're willing to just go at it, and that's what really is make it, Makes it easier and more helpful to coach. Right. Oh man, I, I wish I could really give you a number. That's hard to give you like an exact number. I, I'll leave it at a lot because you know it's hard to really get comfortable. Because sometimes when you feel like you're you're comfortable, all of a sudden you get hit, you get defeated, and like oh that wasn't right. Like you finally get caught, and like yeah that wasn't right. Now you get to tweak it. You know, uh, the thought is even in the NFL and, and all around, you know, comfort can kind of be a, a, a bad thing at times because you obviously get that, that false sense of security. And also you get in a matchup, now you feel like you're overwhelmed, you got to work on it. So that's our thing. Even when we switch guys around, I'm always trying to put them in stressful situations to make sure like, hey, we're trying to get you that look before you get into a real situation and then they get confidence like that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was trained and developed and bond into a style of individual that is very taxing mentally and physically, sometimes emotionally on guys. So like my voice is slightly raspy because I lost it day one. 
in terms of how, how fast and hard I want guys to go because I try to tell my guys kind of like in, in basketball, we talk about these greats, right? And you hear about even like, you know, late great Kobe and how you practice is like it, you try to emulate or simulate the game. So when I'm in there with those guys over there, I kind of, I go after them. You know, I try to make them tired so they can depend on their technique and their fundamentals. I try to make them uh, really have to think fast. I'll move things on them and move things around. But it really, just from experience and the way I was trained, it came back to a way where now you get confidence, you get in the game, and you feel like you saw it before. And so that's kind of how our indie goes. It's very tiring, it's very taxing, but it's all off with the purpose.